Hi, Cancer. Let's do your weekly reading, okay? Let's see what the wisdom of the oracle would like to share with you this week. And remember to check your sun, moon, and rising signs for a more complete picture. You have the never-ending story. Let's see what the spirit animal oracle has for you this week. These cards, for some reason, are not happily shuffling. There they go. Okay. Beautiful. The dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. Okay. And thanks to some donations to the channel, I'm excited to use a brand new tarot deck. It's very similar to the original with some differences. I'm still learning it, but I'm very excited about it, and I hope you find it as exciting as I do. Okay, and remember, time is fluid here. So while I have it for the week, it can really extend out anytime. Whenever you find it, it's meant for you. Okay. Conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself. Could also mean very ambitious people. Okay. Let's get another card. Seeds well planted, efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience, a time for resting and planning for the future. And it could also mean unnecessary worry. See what else we have. Ah, this is lovely. Enjoying the fruits of your labors, hard work that has led to a luxurious life, buying yourself something special, happily and successfully self employed, enjoying your solitude. To me, this looks like you're here and then you move over here. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Water, which is like the Eight of Cups. The need to move on, seeking more from life than what you are experiencing. A spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities, potentially leaving home. Okay, this looks like a heavier reading, I would have to say. Maybe before we go on, let's check out what these mean. Just the short version, not the long version. Okay, number 22. Truth transcends illusion. Dragonfly Spirit is here to remind you of the wisdom and truth available at all times in the hidden realms. Just as a dragonfly catches your eye with its reflective wings and body, dragonfly spirit appears to tell you to pay attention to the truth beyond the illusion and recognize the insights that come seemingly out of nowhere, peeking through from behind the veil. In the realm of spirit, there is far more wisdom than you can perceive with your senses and there is a deep knowing that you are not separate or alone for a higher power recognizes you and loves you beyond measure fears dissipate as you realize you are embraced 
by the nurturing force that is everywhere, always in communication with you. Hmm. That's very nice. Okay. And now, the never-ending story. I'll just take the essential meaning of that, which is very short. The never-ending story essential meaning is self-criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So here. Conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. It's saying also to walk away from drama unless something is really important to you and then stand up for yourself. It could also mean very ambitious people. Seeds well planted. Efforts or investments will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience, a time for resting and planning for the future could also mean unnecessary worry. So there could be a relationship between these two. Not necessarily, but it could be. And this is a wonderful energy. Enjoying the fruits of your labors. The hard work that has led to a luxurious life. Buying yourself something special. Happily and successfully self-employed. Maybe enjoying your solitude. But I could see how this could come after this. And now here... This one, the need to move on. Seeking more from life than what you are experiencing. A spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes. A change in priorities, maybe leaving home. And the cards at the bottom of the deck tend to have an influence on these others. So let's take some cards from the universe to see what they have to say about this. Ooh. This flew out. The Lovers, which is a choice card. It's a choice card of a very high moral issue. It's an important choice. So, choose carefully. And I could see how that could have something to do with this card, too. And also maybe this one. Let's see what else. Let's see if maybe we can get something that will help pull this together a little. Hmm. Okay. This is kind of a midpoint energy, which I can see that being here. And what it's about is you put this out there, whatever this is, a project, whatever it is, and you're waiting to see what comes back to you, waiting for your ships to come in, which, like I said, could be very similar to this card. However, something that is in addition to this, and I can also see it being with this one in the traditional deck that I oftentimes use, both of them can say, you're standing here waiting. You need to really move. Take some action. Okay? Let's get one. Well, okay, we'll take them. We got three more that just popped right out. Okay. Let's scoot these over a little bit. First, we have the Lovers, which is a choice card of the highest moral ground. Here we have a midpoint energy of you're waiting for your ships to come in, but you really should take some kind of action, which oftentimes is somewhat similar to this. You've planted this beautiful garden, watching it grow, and it's reached a certain point, and now you're watching it grow, which is great, except for you could do yourself some favors by taking some action. Okay. Then we have death. And all that means is a transformation. 
which could relate to this card to me some. You know, the need to move on, seeking more from life than what you're experiencing. A spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, which would be this. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful card. The Queen of Pentacles divides up her time wonderfully. She has the perfect amount of time to bring in lots of abundance and an equally perfect amount of time to spend with her family. So she has got her timing all figured out as well as her pentacles. And then you have balance. And that can make sense, definitely. Okay? Because here, the Queen of Pentacles is wonderfully balanced. And here, you are seeking balance. So this death, which is a transformation, I think there might be a few different things going on here. <laughs> You know, it's not one of these readings where everything pulls together and makes us whole. It is different things going on. It's more about different stories in your life that you're needing to deal with or currently dealing with. Um, this one could be an argument, something like that. Walk away from the drama, unless it's extremely important to you and worth your time. But it uh, could also mean very ambitious people. Here. Seeds well planted. The need for patience. The time for resting and planning for the future. Could also mean unnecessary worry. So these two could be related. But you see, there's so much difference. Um, here, it's beautiful energy. Enjoying the fruits of your labors. That's why I said earlier that I could see this coming after this. But it might take longer than a week. Hard work has led to this luxurious life. It could um, also mean, you know, happily and successfully self-employed. Enjoying your solitude. But down here, you have a choice to make. Here, you're waiting for your ships to come in. But like I said, I can see how these two relate together. I can see how this and this relates together. Um, wanting balance. Having balance. So, see if I can pull this together somehow. There is either a potential for, you know, a squabble, I would say. Or you're dealing with really ambitious people. Maybe you are the ambitious person. You've created something. And you're watching and waiting. And this one, this deck says, time for a rest. And potentially unnecessary worry. This is the Nine of Pentacles, which is a solitary energy, but one of ultimate contentment and ultimate abundance. This is family. And, you know, dividing up your time. Ultimate abundance, great abundance, but not solitary. This is a transition from one cycle to another cycle. So it relates to this. It could also relate to this. Okay, so overall, to me, this looks more like a general type of reading. And when I was shuffling the cards, they were not really going smoothly. It was pretty choppy. So actually, overall, what I would say just intuitively, this is not a smooth reading. This is one that has many different things going on. 
So potentially your week this week is going to be filled with many different aspects of life, not just, you know, one major focus, one major um, area that is important to you. I can see that there might be many different things. Some could be little, some could be big. But it is saying that there is a transformation out of one cycle into another cycle. So maybe what it is, is, you know, when you transform out of one thing into another thing, there's a lot of things you have to tie up, a lot of loose ends that have to be tied up, choices that have to be made, balance that you have to try to achieve by going out of one and into another. So maybe that's actually what's going on here. You're dealing with all the aspects to leave this one cycle, and dealing with all the aspects to enter this new cycle. I think that's actually what's going on here. Sorry, it took me a long time to say that, but I really do think that's what's going on. All these little things you're having to deal with to change from one to another. Okay? Wow, that took me a long time. Sorry. Okay, let's get a turn. I'm happy I kind of got it figured out, though. At least what it really appears to be. Okay, the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower, I think, would fit very well with this reading. Um, I won't go into it, but if you know the history of the Eiffel Tower, it really was no easy task building this tower. It was quite a challenge. But once the tower was built, look at what a magnificent structure it is. And I think that actually fits perfectly here because you're in the process of all this change. But once you get everything smoothed out, you are going to have something beautiful. Okay, thanks so much for spending time with me. And I hope, uh, <laughs> uh, I hope that staying with me through my chaos leading to understanding was kind of interesting and uh, I hope you got something out of it. <laughs> okay, much love. Bye. Have a great week.